Mastro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the rectified uh, time of birth chart for Ed Sheeran. If you look to the eastern horizon using uh, Vedic sidereal zodiac, you would see the constellation associated with Aries rising at 10 degrees. First, we're going to look and see how the planets are operating in this chart and when they're operating and then what we could do to, to strengthen the chart. So first we see Sun ruling the fifth house uh, of creativity and it is sitting in the house of income. So it says that he can get income through his creativity of writing and performing songs um, and and. Uh, and, and, and entertaining other people. Uh, it is slightly weak um, and it may have affected his eyes. He had glaucoma and a detached retina and a lazy eye. Uh, we have a, a moon ruling the house of happiness and home life sitting in the 12th house of separations. Now, uh, it is afflicted by K2, which also makes it uh, a, a feel, gives him a feeling of isolation from time to time. Um, he did have depression, social anxiety, feeling he didn't fear, fit in, fear, panic attacks, and also some addictions like binge eating. Uh, also some weight issues. Uh, his Mars is really strong. It is uh, the ruler of the chart, and it is placed in the second house of wealth and fame. So it says that his purpose, his true purpose, is uh, gives him wealth and fame uh, through his passionate, um, courageous singing about the different vulnerabilities that he goes through. Um, it is the prime health ed indicator and um, can be connected to eye issues since it is sitting in that second house of the right eye. Let's see. We have uh, mercury uh, in this chart is functional malefics and it's, it is a multicona sign sitting in a dustana or challenging house, the sixth house of health and inner conflict. Um, so it, it is fairly benign in the birth chart. It's not afflicting or um, causing any issues, but definitely in the transit chart from time to time it can, through um, conjunction or aspect, uh, cause some issues for other planets or other houses when it's close to the most effective point or the rising sign degree. Uh, it uh, gives him the ability to write about these inner conflict and sing the songs. He is doing charity work to remedy um, this uh, functional malefic planet, charities for kids, giving uh, instru musical instruments to kids who can't afford them. Uh, perhaps his strongest planet is uh, exalted Jupiter. Uh, it is ruling the ninth house of good fortune. And it says that he can have good fortune through songwriting and singing. Uh, it, it's very, very, it's definitely the, the planet that's giving him the most success. Uh, we have weak infant exalted Venus in the 12th house. Uh, it's ruling the house of partnerships. And uh, one of his best partnerships was with Taylor Swift. Um, he joined her tour and that gave him a lot of exposure in the U.S. to um, have his career take off. Now Venus and the 12th house are both connected to eye issues. So that may have uh, something to do with that. We have a uh, week afflicted by Rahu Saturn ruling the house of income and social connections. It's placed in the career house. So um, it gives him income through hard work, discipline, 
and uh, because it is afflicted there is some fear there he's also remedying um, this through Saturn is the planet of service to humanity uh, some charities like band-aid and many other charities um, Rahu and Ketu are at four degrees and they're always can be causing some harm they're always opposite each other balancing something in our life and in this case um, he's trying to balance work life and home life. Let's look at the timing of events. In 2011, he had a hit song called The A-Team during a sun period, um, bo boosting his entertainment career. Then in uh, 2015, he uh, jumped off a boat and to the water and burst his eardrum uh, during a Rahu unexpected events period. And shortly after, in 2016, he had surgery on that ear. Um, also got a Grammy for The Shape of You, also during a Rahu unexpected events period. 2020, he had a daughter during a Jupiter period, Jupiter significator for children. In 2021, he got COVID um, during a Saturn period. Now. The circular chart to the left uh, is the transit chart at that at that time, and you can see the outer circles where the planets were the um, on that day, and the inner circles where the planets were when he was born. And you see Rahu and K2 in the tr transits were three degrees from the rising sign degree, so they were afflicting six out of his twelve houses. Uh, including uh, the sixth house of health, the eighth house of death-like experiences, the twelfth house of he had to self-isolate because of uh, COVID, he had COVID, and Rahu was afflicting Moon, the uh, planet of immunity, uh, as well. Mars was uh, combust the sun, weak, so it's also a sign of his health and immunity. Uh, then in 2022, his wife was pregnant, um, but was diagnosed with a tumor, but could not operate until after she had childbirth. So he went through a lot of uh, fear uh, during uh, a K2 period, uh, again, causing fear and unexpected events. 2023, uh, he had LASIK surgery on his eyes during a Venus period, Venus associated with his eyes again and sitting in the house of surgery. Um, so what can we do to strengthen the chart? Well, he's already doing remedies for Rahu, K2, and Mercury. Um, the rest of the planets could be strengthened with um, my favorite uh, remedy, a kavash, a silver locket containing the Devata Yantras for those planets. If you'd like to learn Vedic Astrology or getting a reading, you can go to www.vastucreations.com. Thank you so much for listening.